today is definitely a red lipstick day. My name is Gerilyn Lucas. I wrote the book, Why I Wore Lipstick to My Mastectomy, which also became a Lifetime movie. I've traveled around the world meeting thousands of women to tell them how early detection saved my life. Now I want to save yours. I just got so sick of hearing women say, oh, a mammogram, doesn't that hurt? I'm like, dude, you just got an extreme bikini wax. What are you talking about? Don and I are traveling around the city today looking for ouch moments. What's the most painful thing you've ever done for beauty? Brazilian. Eyebrow tweezing is like a seven for me. Bikini wax is an eight. Upper lip laser and a seven. Porcelain veneers, full set of teeth, ten and a half. Ow. Suffering in shoes every day. Ow. I sprayed the deodorant in my vagina. So it was really big. I gauged my ears. Ouch. From one to ten, it's about an eleven. A full on facelift. I mean, oh, ouch. I can't get it over my butt. Do you think that this could do organ damage? I'm going to show you that all those treatments hurt so much more than feeling your boobies or getting a little squish in a mammogram. Give me a head with hair. It takes your breath away. I'd say it was on 11. They heard me in the lobby. Definitely Brazilian. You walk out like this. So we've been hearing about how painful the Brazilian is, um, but how people are addicted. They need it. It makes them feel beautiful. So I decided I had to come to the temple of all bikini waxes to the J sisters. Um, do I have to take my pants off? Yeah. Waist down, take off everything. When you go for mammogram, waist up, just take off everything. First kiss with oh my god, I'm getting inspected. This is extreme sport. Oh my god. This is like yoga. I'm breathing, I'm breathing. That's ridiculous. It really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ready for some more pain? Bring it on. All of our pain for breast cancer awareness. All right, I got to get my underwear back yeah. on. It's never enough. Like, you get your eyebrows done, you have to get your hair done, then you have to look like her. More money is spent on the beauty industry every year in America than any other industry. So, it's pretty nice. Because if you saw a pair of shoes that you really want, you would make sure that you get them at some point, whether you have to save up or... But I don't think anybody would think, I'd better start saving up for my mammogram. Can we just talk about these shoes for a moment? I think I love them. Well, when I was diagnosed, I didn't have health insurance. And that was like the epic screw up of a lifetime. And I just dropped the ball and totally forgot about it. Plus, you know, whatever money I had, I have to admit I did spend probably here. <laughs> To train myself to walk in heels, it's so painful. They are so painful. Breaking them in really hurts. It's a skill, pain for fashion. I've had so many high heel injuries though. I'm trying to look all that and then. Yeah. Shoes to me are the biggest cure on the planet. This is like therapy right now. Who doesn't feel stronger yeah. being a tower of power, mm -hmm. you know, with an extra six inches? You're moving in those. She's done this before. Life is good. What do women do for beauty in Italy? They make a lot of plastic surgery. Brazilian women like to be beautiful all the time, 24-7. In Ecuador, we use a lot of corsets. When they used to like wear kimono, they put the hands up, just like pulls the skin. Eyebrows is the most big thing in Israel. Can I just explain this pain for one second? It feels like there's a match on my eyebrow right now. Threading is like a 8.5. There's a little tear running down my eye right now. I just involuntarily cry every time I get this done. This takes longer than getting my mammogram. Like right now, it just would have been squish, squish, squish. We would have been in and out. Hair removal seems to be the most important thing in people's lives. Yeah, that's like the biggest obsession. Like if we took all the collective time, energy, and money that people spent toward <laughs> hair removal, and we put it toward breast exam and mammograms, like we'd all be in really good shape. The young girls know to get all their hair removed. How they, can they know that? Right. They don't know about mammograms, what age to have it done, where to have it done. Do you know what age women are supposed to start getting mammograms at? I don't. I would think maybe after puberty. I think it's I 22 or something. I still don't know what's the correct age. Isn't it over 35? I thought 35. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say like 25. 
I was told 40, start at 40 and you're supposed to get one every year. Women we've met don't really know when they're supposed to start getting checked. And I think last year all the controversy just threw it into even more chaos. My mum was diagnosed with cancer at 40. And by the time she was diagnosed, it was too late and had already spread. So she passed away within a couple of years. After that, I was quite vigilant about having mammograms, even though I expected them to tell me that I had breast cancer. And my doctor found a lump that I would never have found myself. I think I paid $450 for the basic mammogram. And it was probably my best investment this year because I'm still here just with shorter hair. I feel emboldened now. I'm ready to get my tat. I'm doing this for a mission to show women to get mammograms. It hurts so much less than this. Okay. No way. When it breaks my Afterward, this hurts. Suppose that ever if you haven't had your mammogram, you're totally insane. Suppose that ever fell alone. That's it, you're done. Suppose that ever fell alone. Does that make you bleed when you get it? And it breaks my heart. So I had my first mammogram at 43 and I got squeezed, squished, slammed, and jammed. Why don't they put testicles in a vice? This was for a penis, it would be heated and placed in our dress. Squeeze, squeeze, and it got up. Oh, they do the what? Mm, mm, but you know, I did. I was very brave. When you're my size and they squish them, it really hurts. The mammogram was the equivalent of putting your tits in a vice. I've heard that it hurts. But I get it done. I mean, it's over in a few minutes, so just do it. A mammogram, I consider a piece of cake. So I'm going to say that my mama was a great. And by the way, I do not have a high pain threshold. <laughs> Like, I'm willing to like get my teeth done, but yet I haven't gotten a mammogram. That's not very smart. Busting a hair bump on your pubic area is worse than a mammogram. It is the best finder outer we got. It, it is beauty. Your breasts are beauty, so it's important. It's just as important as a pedicure or blowout or heels. You gotta take care from the inside out first. When I see I have all these girls, women, children of all ages around me, I go, the mammogram, the mammogram. There's no stigma to it. There's, there's only love and how are you doing? I was diagnosed at 37 years of age. Um, I actually was diagnosed stage four. You don't want to uh, find out too late because, I mean, chemo for life. I mean, I'll do it, that's what it takes, but if you can survive a few seconds of a mammogram, it can save you a world of pain and suffering. I don't want people to go down the road, I do. Jackie, seven months. <clears throat> Connie, one year. Maria, five years. Diane, 20 years. Mary, 12 and a half. I'm Lori, two and a half years, but was just re-diagnosed with new cancer. Jeanne, 13 years. Ulrike, six years. Pat, one year. Donna, 15 years. Susan. Susan. 11 years. And you're glad you had a memory? Oh, I'm most definitely glad, and I get them every year faithfully in December. That's part of my Christmas present. My doctor told me that it's really important for me to start um, giving myself an exam. I have to know the way they feel in case there's ever a lump. And I was at my 11-year-old checkup. I'm happy that my mom felt the lump because if she didn't, she wouldn't be here and it would just be really hard. I am going to go to breastcancer.org to get all the facts about when to get screened for breast cancer. I am going to spend as much money, time, and pain on getting screened for breast cancer as I am other beauty treatments. I am going to spread the word that early detection saves lives.